Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice reading for the week starting June 27, 2016. And this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising. So as always, keep an open mind. These are general readings and so they're not going to apply to everybody watching. And if you'd like a private reading, just follow the link in the description box below. For now, just take away the messages that do make sense, that resonate with you in this general reading. And remember that for this week, for the week starting June 27th, um, there is a video up, a collaboration between me and Stormy Grace, the astrologer, and it's an astrology and tarot um, overview of the week in terms of love and love potential. So if you're interested in that, um, I'll link the video in the description box below. So, Gemini, you have an interesting week ahead of you. So, the theme for you, so the week for you is about answered prayers. So answered prayer is telling you that this is a week when you're going to see things come together. You're going to see um, the answer to your prayers. Um, now, you have to be extra observant this week because usually when we get a prayer answered, it rarely looks like what we expect it to. So pay attention to signs and symbols. Pay attention to synchronicities. Pay attention to your dreams. Um, and just be open, okay? Be open to seeing what happens. Be open to... Um, new energy, new people, new information, new situations, because again, I feel that you can't really anticipate um, how your answer is going, your answer is going to come to you, okay, this week in terms of your prayers being answered, but they will be answered. This card is showing up to tell you that no matter what happens, your prayers are always heard and will be answered. Um, there may be some divine timing at play, okay, so things that are out of our control that we need to wait on, especially if what we're hoping for uh, depends on other people and their will. But this is just reassuring you that uh, your prayers are heard and they will be answered, okay? A lot of them I feel that you're going to receive answers for this week, but again, you have to be open to how this happens because it's going to happen in an unexpected way. In terms of career and finances, we have the Five of Cups. And I feel the Five of Cups for you is um, not negative, okay? I feel that for, for some of you, this is actually an answer to your prayer. Um, if, for example, you've been hoping for or praying for a better job, you've been praying for um, more money or you've been praying for more success, or feeling more accomplished, feeling more fulfilled, a job that makes you feel happy. Um, I feel that for some of you, you may be experiencing something that seems to be a loss this week. In reality, it's a door being open, open for you this week, okay? So with the Five of Cups, there's definitely a sense of something is lost. Um, but it's lost, it's done and dusted, there's nothing you can do about it, it's outside your control. But something still remains, okay? So the, the three cups are spilled, yes. But there's two cups that are still full and standing right behind you. And whenever I see this, I think of the two of cups. And the two of cups is a partnership card. It's a commitment card. It is new jobs, new projects, uh, success, new careers, okay? New plans that are, that are starting to form, new tasks um, that are significant for you in terms of your career. So I feel that whatever happens for you in terms of career and finances this week, try not to get overwhelmed and try not to get scared and think, oh my God, it's the end of the world because there's a blessing in disguise, okay, in there. I feel that if you're stuck in a certain place and you've been praying for um, a better job, for example, um, you may, you know, go to work one morning and they're telling you that either your contract's up or it's up early or um, they're downsizing and you have to go or anything like that. And I feel that in the same day or a couple of days later, your dream job is knocking on your door, okay? So it will be something like that. Um, you know, not hopefully not as big as losing your job this week, but the main idea is whatever happens this week in terms of career, finances, education, personal projects, Whatever happens that seems to be negative is actually a blessing in disguise and it's taking you to your prayer being answered. So go with the flow, try to stay fo focused on the positive and on opportunities versus what is lost. And I do feel that a lot of you are going to um, just have a new beginning by the end of the week that is going to be a lot more positive for you, okay? Or at least new direction in terms of how, in terms of how to make your dream a reality. 
For home and family, we have the Five of Cups, and the Five of Cups represent the sorry, the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups represent moving on, okay, moving forward from a situation, leaving something behind. So I feel that for some of you, okay, the answered prayer is the fact that you're finding a new house, you're finding a new place to live. Um, the Eight of Cups is leaving something behind, you know, something that has been in your life for quite a while. So some of you definitely may be relo um, relocating this week. Um, Okay, for some of you, I feel that you may have to go back and live with your family for a little bit. But again, don't feel that don't feel like that is something negative, okay? For some of you, maybe something happens with your job and your finances take a hit and you have to go back and live with your family. I feel that this is very temporary and later on in the week, you're going to find yourself a new property, you find yourself a new place to live that is going to be a lot better for you than the one you're leaving. The Eight of Cups also talks about someone leaving the nest, someone moving out. Um, and I feel that, you know, this is to do with a success, okay, success, celebration, victory, and the family, and that's how they're moving out, okay, so there's a lot of answered prayers there, so just, you know, spend time together and celebrate the success, and then send them off properly into their brand new future. But I do see a lot of moving, moving forward and moving away from difficulty, moving to a better place, um, moving to a bigger place. Or moving to your dream home even okay for some of you guys in terms of emotional life and love life we have the five of swords so you have two fives in your reading and that tells me that you're going through some changes this week okay with the answer prayer I feel like this is coming in for you the answered prayer and again it's going to happen in a different way than you expect and so I hope I, I, I see that things are happening for you your prayers are being answered in unexpected ways and that makes you reconsider okay and rethink things and it kind of throws you for a loop because the five of swords represents the chaos that comes with change okay just until you get your footing just until you step into your new um present your new normal so that being said in emotional life and love life the five of swords represents a difficult character um i feel that if you are in an existing relationship or if you're interested in someone uh, who is an air sign, a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius, um, I feel that there may be some conversations and there may be some words that are hurtful happening. And again, you are you may get easily caught up in that and uh, get hurt by that, take things very personally and then stay in that place of, of sorrow and disappointment and feeling um, down on yourself. Um, but in reality, that happens for a reason, okay? That happens perhaps because it's time for you to walk away from that person um, so that you are free from that and available when the new person comes in, okay? Because answered prayer is definitely telling you that if you've been hoping in prayer for a situation to um, improve um, or, you know, move forward in a way or get cleared up in a way or get... Um, cemented or made official or anything like that I feel that for some of you there are some difficult conversations that are happening this week but again it's meant to put things in into perspective it's meant to bring clarity to the relationship to that connection it's meant to uh, make you realize certain things and then that takes you closer to that dream coming true okay that prayer being answered in terms of that connection in terms of that relationship and for whoever needs to walk away from your life right now, whoever wants to walk away, let them walk away because there's someone better for you coming and they're just around the corner and you need to be free from this negative situation and available and open to meeting someone new so that you're ready for this person when they come in, okay? Um, what else? Okay, so for some of you, this is very empowering. For some of you, uh, the answer to prayers comes... Um, in the form of confidence, in the form of, you know what, I'm too good for this, or you know what, you don't deserve me, or you know what, I've been wasting my time on you. So you're telling people how it is, and you are cutting people away that are being dishonest or indecisive or stalling or just wasting your time, okay? And I feel like you're taking your power back this week and you're saying, you know what, I'm done with this and I'm moving forward and there's someone out there who deserves me. And as a result of that, I do see that you're going to meet someone new very, very soon. In terms of health and well-being, we have the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is rest, 
rest and recuperation, okay? And it is, for some of you, you're focusing on this this week, and for others, this is what you should be focusing. For, for others, you're not taking enough time for rest this week. Because the, force, the, the Four of Swords is forced rest for some of you, okay? It is the fact that you're letting things get to you, and it's affecting your health. Or it's the fact that you are going, 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 and you're never giving yourself time to breathe. And as a result, this week, you're going to be forced to take time off. You're going to find yourself, you know, catching a bug or having catching a cold or having sleep problems, insomnia, uh, nightmares, um, things that kind of you, you sleep, but you don't rest, okay? Or you don't sleep at all. Headaches, okay? Or even migraines more than a headache, okay? Um, and for others, this is... The opposite. This is you focusing on no matter what happens, staying calm and collected through it all, and focusing on your health and focusing on keeping your energy levels up, uh, and recharging your batteries no matter what happens, and also withdrawing and focusing on your spirituality to get you through anything that's going on. Okay, and as a result, you're gonna see some answers. You're gonna receive some guidance. You're gonna receive uh, the answer to your prayers because you're focusing and relying so much on your spirituality this week. So the Four of Swords represents prayer, it represents meditation, it represents spending time alone, clearing your head, detoxifying, spending time in nature, letting go of tension, of drama, of uncertainty, of difficulty, and just focusing on yourself and keeping yourself okay emotionally, mentally, and physically, keeping yourself in a, in a good place, in a balanced place, okay, no matter what happens. Focusing on the positive and, and you know, keeping yourself going no matter what happens. In terms of guidance for you, we have balance, work, rest, and play, the yellow rose. So this is really fitting, okay, for the tone of the reading that we've been getting this far. This is telling you that it's important for you to have fun along with fulfilling your responsibilities. So I feel that if you're just focusing on work and what's working and not working in work, uh, well, <laughs> not working and not working in work, um, I feel that if you're not careful, it can easily overwhelm you and really affect your health. I feel that you're going to get stressed out. And again, you're going to have those problems that we mentioned. Um, and I feel that whatever you do this week, just focus on balance. Focus on keeping yourself balanced first and, and, first and foremost. And also focusing on what is right, what is just, what the right thing is, what you deserve. Okay, and keeping that in balance. And I feel that if you have that kind of perspective where you're ready to make changes, okay, with two fives in your reading, where you're ready to make changes in order to truly move forward into a better place for yourself, um, I feel that that's where the answered prayer happens. That's where you see the guidance, you see the next step, you receive that answer loud and clear, okay? Um, and again, it's letting you know that spirituality is important. Um, and rest is important this week and in order to keep yourself going and in order for you to see the answer to your prayers you have to be in a balanced place okay you have to be in a place where you do what you have to at work but then you leave work at work you're at home and you're fully present at home with the family with your friends and when you're on your own you're fully focused on yourself on keeping yourself um, happy on praying and meditating and collecting your thoughts and relaxing and recharging your batteries and as long as you balance all of those together this is going to be a really really good week for you okay and remember the answer to your prayers is coming to you in an unexpected way so just be open to receiving okay don't try to think that it's going to have to look in a certain way uh, don't think that a certain person is going to call you and they have to call you by a certain time or they're going to email you or they're going to call you um, or, you know, text you or anything like that. I feel like just be open to communication because it's going to come to you in an unexpected way or from an unexpected place and definitely at unexpected times. So just be open this week. Um, and I really do see that you're going to get a lot of answer to your prayers um, throughout the week. So there you have it. These are your messages for the week. I hope that you've enjoyed the reading and I hope that it makes sense and that you find it useful. Thank you so, so much for being here with me. I hope you have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.